After signing up for StoreHub, the first thing to do is go to Settings and then Account. You'll notice that your country, currency and time zone were previously set when you selected the country during sign up. Click on Tax. Click Add Tax Code. The types of tax codes vary by country. As an example, I'll set a goods and services tax of 6% and click Save. You'll now see it on the tax codes page. You can even add more than one type of applicable tax for different products or transactions. Just repeat the steps by clicking on Add Tax Code. To set a tax code as a default tax for all your products, go to Settings and click Account. Under the General section, select the tax to be set as your default tax. On the Accounts page, you can select whether to display your price on the register as Tax Inclusive or Exclusive. If you select Tax Inclusive, the prices displayed on your register and on your receipts will have tax already included. If you choose Tax Exclusive, your prices displayed will not include tax. If you wish to have your bill rounded up or down, select Yes, and the smallest currency accepted. You can also choose to apply rounding to all transactions or cash only. Leap dummy or testing sales data before you start logging real transactions. At the back office, go to settings and then account. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and you'll see a section to reset sales data. Click on reset. A warning box will pop up to inform you that resetting sales data will not change your inventory level. You'll need to type RESET in capital letters in the box. Click RESET when you're done. Your sales information has now been reset. If you go to the Transactions page, you'll see that your transactions have all been deleted. If you are operating a food and beverage type business, you might want to auto-generate an order number for each receipt issued or manually assign a table number. In your back office, scroll down to the F&B section and you'll find three checkout options. It's set to none by default. Select Assign Table Number at checkout and you'll find that every time you take an order, the register will prompt you to key in a table number. By selecting Auto Generate Queue Number, a queue number will be printed on each receipt. The same queue number will be printed on the kitchen orders for matching purposes. Once you've selected your desired option, remember to click Save. You may want to print kitchen or bar receipts that can be passed to your kitchen or bar staff. Scroll to the F&B section. On the kitchen printers, type the name of your kitchen or bar printer and hit enter. You can then assign your products to their relevant kitchen printers. You'll find that whenever an order is taken, these orders will be sent to their respective kitchen printers. If your items don't all need to be printed at the kitchen or bar printers, you'll want to set your default kitchen printer to none. Click save once you're done. Once that's done, Let's go into your products page and select a product that needs to be printed at the kitchen printer. Let's say I need to print out each cafe Americano at the bar. Scroll down to kitchen printer and select the appropriate printer. Click save once you're done. Once the bar printer on your app has been assigned, each order of cafe Americano will be printed at the bar. To enable service charge, go to settings in your back office and then click on account. On the Account Settings page, scroll down to the F&B section. Turn on Service Charge by selecting Yes at Enable Service Charge. You can indicate the percentage of your service charge rate here. In some instances, you may also need to apply a tax on top of your service charge. In Malaysia, for example, you'll need to apply a 6% goods and services tax on your service charge. In this case, enter 6% under the service charge tax. Click Save and on your POS system, you'll see the service charge at the bottom of the sales ticket. You can turn off the service charge by tapping on it and then toggling it off.